when I bought my giant crystal ball. The lady looked at me in the eye and said, Whatever you do, never, ever leave it uncovered when you're not home. And I said, Oh, wow, because of spirits? And, and, she, and she said, What? <laughs> No, because if the sun hits it weird, it'll burn down your house. <laughs> Important lesson. <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> Today, we're looking at witches versus the patriarchy. I love this subreddit. It is so goofy. I cannot explain how goofy it is. There are some very fun memes on here, even in and sometimes especially in dark times. One of the big reasons I wanted to cover this today is I was playing Phasmophobia with the click. You might not. You might not know him, he's a smaller YouTuber, you know. <laughs> and we used a summoning circle and got very scared when we ended up cursed. Are you holding a flashlight? Yeah, no, I have it right here. One. We picked up the same <laughs> flashlight. Turn on your flashlight. Yeah, yeah no, I have oh, it right ah, here. Ah, oh my god, ah, what? Wait, what? Ah, you took my hand! You took my hand! <laughs> Give me my hand! Ah, what have you done? Well, it's right there, it's okay, you're holding it in front of you. No, you're holding my hand! Okay, flip to your flashlight. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! 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 <laughs> All right, let's get started. Oh, there's a witch in these woods? Is she single? Ha <laughs> ha! BRB, going to ask the forest witch out on a date! Uh, oh, my firstborn child has been stolen. Your wife taking care of your child is not stealing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, shut up, that got me. Oh. <laughs> I just saw someone refer to mansplating as correctile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> so please excuse me while I laugh hysterically for six hours. Correctile dysfunction. Hmm. Ha ha. Hi, Lilith. Are you a demon? Yes. Because I'd love to be possessed by you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still hot though. <laughs> I st hmm. <laughs> if there's a heavens no and a hell yes, why isn't there a purgatory maybe? Perhaps? <laughs> Santa is on strike due to global warming. All presents this year will be delivered by Sasha the Christmas Tiger. Milk and cookies may not be sufficient. Oh! Must bring presents to good children. Oh yes, good. And eat the bad ones. Uh, wait, no. Eat them. Sasha, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Adam says, fun fact, self-driving cars can be trapped using a ring of salt. <gasps> Satan! <laughs> if laid out correctly, the car's visual processing AI will interpret the rings as no entry, markings on the roadway, and just sit there like an evil idiot, Lamau. <laughs> oh, no. Are all AI cars not actually actually AI, but just poltergeist inhabited? Ah, spooky cars! <laughs> Wouldn't mind a spooky car, actually. <laughs> when I was a kid, I distinctly remember a phone call from a telemarketer asking for the man of the house. My mom's reply? <sighs> Speaking. God dang legend. <laughs> Your mom was on another level. When you're spiritual, but still kind of hood. And a muff needs their throat chakra realigned. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> Stranger. Are you a witch? Me. Yeah. Are, are you a bad witch? Yeah. I don't memorize my rituals, and my idea of a Sabbath celebration is making pancakes from mix. <laughs> <laughs> this actually reminds me of a TikTok. Hang on, hang on. I, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I found it. <laughs> are you a good witch or a bad witch? But I've already told you, I'm not a witch at all. <laughs> Witches are old and ugly. I am a witch. I'm Glinda, the witch of the north. I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. <laughs> Only bad witches are ugly. Then why did you ask if I was a bad witch? <laughs> uh, oh dang <laughs> pharaoh listening to your pro-life aunt when she says god wouldn't kill a baby oh really barbara <laughs> turfs love being like we are the daughters of the witches you couldn't burn when these Weeds would absolutely be the women to rush to Father Jedediah in 1604 and scream about how they saw Annabelle May doing <laughs> with the devil in the cornfield. I read that with my eyeballs. <laughs> 
Oh my. He said he didn't have a condom. Oh, and you said? I said that it's fine because I was ready to be a mom. After I said that, he magically had a condom that he forgot about. Oh, buddy, you got called out so fast. <laughs> yeah, my friends, bring protection. Why? What's up there? No, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what witch needs to hear this. But you've been the bigger person for far too long. Put them in a jar. I remember when people were joking that they put my plushie in a jar. <laughs> Speaking of plushies... The briefest of plugs for these two cuties that are coming out this month. <laughs> Keep an eye out. They're both coming out this month. I'll post more when I've got it. Stop normalizing bath bombs. They're training people not to recognize the inherent dangers of magical vortexes. Thousands of years of evolutionary instincts gone. Just like that. You dumb is. We're going to stick your feet in the first glowing portal. You stumble across and get kidnapped by the f***ing fae. Um, it's 2020 and I've reconsidered my stance on being abducted by the fae. Oh no, it's 2022. Maybe it's time we all get abducted by the Fae. <laughs> Paul McCartney's Wonderful Christmas Time is about friends practicing witchcraft. But then someone walks in and they have to suddenly play it cool. Lyrics. The moon is right. The spirit's up. We're here tonight. And that's enough. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Simply having a wonderful Simply Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. <laughs> My father-in-law told everyone to be quiet so he could say, grace. My two-year-old howled like a wolf. She worships the old gods. <laughs> Raising her right. <laughs> Girl, I babysit. I want to be tall and skinny when I grow up. Me. Realizing the damage society does on young girls, but too tired to correct her. Me too. Girl! Like Abraham Lincoln! The vampire hunter. I gotcha. <laughs> the goal of a woman's life is not to be a wife and mother. It's to dramatically gate crash a christening party, swathed in a raven black cloak, and cackle. I too have a gift for the princess. <laughs> the gift of death. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Deep, dark fears. When I was a kid, a priest told me about Mary, how God thought she was perfect, so he made her pregnant. I didn't want God to make me pregnant. Oh, God, no. <laughs> so I tried not to be his type. Flippin' winning strategy, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey, why do you lock the bathroom door? We've been together for years. And have I ever barged in there? <laughs> I say having not knocked, but just trying the handle. <laughs> I'm having lady stuff in here. Oh, never mind. I hate lying to him like that, Osmo Dicklax. I'm making the universe is lady stuff. <laughs> Wait, are you sacrificing a pigeon? Get out of here. <laughs> Yet another cycling skill that has been lost over the years. Hello, fellas. <laughs> Woman practicing cutting off a head while riding a bicycle. Practicing. Practicing. Practicing for what purpose exactly? Oh no! Whatever war is coming, I want to be on her side. <laughs> I can't be tied down to one aesthetic. I want to be a magical fairy princess, but I also want to be a blood-sucking entity that eats men. ¿Por qué no las dos? <laughs> a little kid came up to the ice cream truck today holding a $5 bill in one hand and a cool leaf in the other. She asked for a bomb pop and I said, Okay, that will be one leaf, please. And she said no and handed me the $5. <laughs> she knows something. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't put monsters under your bed to scare you. I put them there because I know you get lonely at night. Aw, thanks, Satan. <laughs> Uh, ladies, don't be a replacement for his mother. Be a replacement for the thing under his bed that he was afraid of as a child. Mysterious, elusive, and probably from a hell dimension. Wizard! Why is a barbarian carrying a skillet? Bard! He thinks it's his spell casting focus. Wizard! He has spells? Just one! Every time he hits someone with it, he shouts, Cast! Iron! That's something you hear in Egg Morpork. <laughs> mm, George is getting a little too curious. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I don't remember this happening in the books. <laughs> Hello, boys. In 1921, early suffragettes often donned a bathing suit and ate pizza in large groups to annoy men, all the fellas. It was a custom at that time. Time to revive a custom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> How to get a guy to stop hitting on you at the bar. Tell him about your horoscope. Tell him about your cat. Tell him about your cat's horoscope. Oh, he'll be horrified. <laughs> Might just f around and let nature reclaim me. Um, does this mean you're going feral or just lying in the dirt for a while? Y y yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I miss the times when women had to wash dishes, cook, clean, and weren't allowed to speak. Wow. I miss the times when men would go off to the war and die there. Oh, jeez. Maybe... Maybe none of it was good back then, huh? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Me, on a bad day. Please do not play with the witch. She is fragile. Aww. <laughs> I had to see these photos of somebody putting their sphinx cat in a wig. And a dress. And now so do you. <laughs> oh my goodness, you look like Wednesday Adams. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that she's saying it like a threatening proclamation too. <laughs> I checked my six-year-old's bag that she packed for a road trip and I found sage, garlic salt, all of her descendants dolls, a fake candle, foil, which she referred to as silver, and three flashlights. What does she know about this trip that I don't? Oh my goodness, she's prepared for vampires, werewolves, and ghosts. <laughs> Raising her right. <laughs> Pressing questions. Did medieval witches baby talk to their familiars? <laughs> Who'll be the finest rat in all of this hamlet? Be it thou? Be it thou? Yes it be! Yes it be! <laughs> Is that a rat? That's a cat. <laughs> oh, f your zodiac sign. I want to know what song you'd fist fight the Supreme Court to in a White Castle parking lot. I have no business having thought of this, but in this very moment reading this post, John Cena's walkout song. <laughs> Is that not the most epic fight music you've heard? I challenge you, name a better song that you'd walk out to. Wait, no! Primo Victoria by Sabaton. I swear, oh, can I have both? Both. <laughs> and for today's informational video, how do lesbians make a baby? Hmm? Not sure, gals? Let's find out. Demon summoning noises. Demon summoning noises. These are the noises. Oh, that not that, gals. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> I feel like witches are sedentary and wizards are migratory. A witch has a home, a cauldron, herbs. You go to them with your problem. A wizard wanders, disappears, shows up at inconvenient times to fix nothing. Am I making sense? Yep. <laughs> Today I learned there's such a thing as the tasseled wobble gong. Wobby, wobby gong. Wobby, wobby shark. And I need to share it with you all. Oh. <laughs> I love that the ocean is 85% filled with weird little freaks. <laughs> Have you seen the Dumbo octopus? Have you seen this? I'm in a coffee shop in Cumbria, and there's a group of middle-aged women who I initially thought were a book club. They're actually a spooky club, telling each other ghost stories and creepy stuff and trying to scare the shit out of each other over tea and cake. Absolute legends. Oh my goodness. I love this idea. <gasps> You've never made a snow angel before? Huh? It's easy. Just go like this. See? Now you try. Flump. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> the florist informed my mom the chapel we're doing our tiny ceremony in is full of ghosts. My mom was like, oh, okay. Well, they... Um, will they enjoy the wedding? And the florist said confidently, Oh, yes! <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Wolves and ravens have a special relationship. When ravens find a dead animal, they make a lot of noise to draw the attention of wolves. The wolves open up the hide and provide carrion for the ravens. Ravens also interact and play with the wolf pups and yearlings. And the experts think that individual ravens often develop special bonds with individual wolves within a pack. I love that. That is so cool. Those are such fun facts. <laughs> to abolish the patriarchy once and for all. Raise your wands, sisters. <gasps> Bethany. <laughs>
Hi. Seduce me with your history knowledge. Ha <laughs> ha. Vikings made their women handle finances because they thought math is witchcraft. Well, that is good, but I think I've got you beat. During a military campaign, Vlad the Impaler, the basis for Dracula, once pulled his troops out of a major engagement in a valley at dusk so that the sun was in their enemy's eyes. Once they were over the hill, they sent loose a bunch of rabid bats who flew away from the sun towards the enemy and attacked them, leading to significant infection in their ranks and Vlad's eventual victory. Because of how the bats appeared from where Vlad's soldiers appeared to be at dusk, myth stated that the soldiers turned into bats at night, which is where the Dracula can change into a bat thing came from. Holy heck, if that's true, that's amazing. Also, that is a great request for a pickup line. Seduce me with your history knowledge. <laughs> Do you love the humans? I wish nothing but joy for them. So you do not bite them, right? I also wish joy for me. Yesterday, I had a friend tell me how one of her close friends has a whole bunch of succulents, and she has given each one of them a name of her close friends. She nurses them, takes care of them, talks to them, and if one ever starts to get sick or not grow well, she talks to the friend in question and something is almost always bothering them. And if that isn't one of the cutest examples of subtle green witchcraft, I don't know what is. Sorry I didn't text you back for a month. Darkness took me, and I strayed out of thought and time. Stars wheeled overhead, and every day was as long as the life age of the Earth. But I'm, I'm good now. How are you? <laughs> Drink water. Eat vegetables. Be nice to animals. Exercise regularly. Explore nature. Find a small door under a tree. Open it. Take a look inside. Get pepper sprayed by a tiny elf. Learn a valuable lesson about knocking first. Very impressed with the Swinside Stone Circle in Cumbria. Lovely, peaceful, isolated spot sat in the middle and sacrificed too many savory pork pies to the old gods and the new. Got back to the car and Boris's government had imploded. May revisit next week with a quiche. <laughs> How to react to current events. <sighs> Feel free to use this comic about anything forever. I will. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> These crinoid fossils can be found in rivers in certain parts of the UK and were once thought to be fairy coins, sometimes called star stones. They were also said to bring victory over your enemies. Folklore Thursday. That's so cool. What you doing, Nibbles? Writing a list of my enemies. Those who have brutally wronged me, so that I may hunt them down to incur my bloody revenge. The Department of Environment and Wildlife? They refuse to change the migratory route of the Saruman to go through our yard. <laughs> Maybe it is pretty, but how can I carry my frog and my worms in a dress with no pockets? <gasps> 1959. Hashtag stop fake pockets since 1959? That's amazingly terrible. <laughs> Everyone wants a goth wifey. Until they realize we basically only look like queens of the night 10% of the time. And the rest is spent lurking around in Halloween themed pajamas and hissing until we get snacks. Best combination, I guess. I, <laughs> I'm not seeing a downside. <laughs> so I heard that cats like to sit in circles. Circle, not interested. Square, mildly interested. I have no questions at this point. Hmm, seems like that cat is very familiar. <laughs> Could you imagine if people talked about Catholicism the same way they talked about like indigenous people's religions? Girl in horror movie holding a Bible open. According to legend, a mob tortured a half man, half God and nailed him to a wooden cross, leaving him to starve to death. But days later, on this very night, they found he had clawed his way out of the grave. Now those who believe lie in wait for him to rise again to honor him. They have weekly gatherings where they chant and sing, and at the end of it, they eat his flesh and blood. Girl's friend. Wow, that's so creepy. Horror movie jock. <laughs> it's only a myth. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then a wild Jesus just pops out and think. <laughs> when the archaeologists opened the ancient vase, little did they know what primeval dark power they had unleashed.
To avoid straining your eyes when you're continuously working, follow the 20-20-20 rule. After 20 minutes of work, look at something 20 feet away. Then spend 20 years in the forest. <laughs> if you hate your HOA, <laughs> Homeowners Association. Nothing funnier than installing a 7,000 plus capacity bat roost, causing thousands of bats to come into your neighborhood. This will cause your homeowners association to complain, but they cannot legally do anything because bats are federally protected animals and it cannot be removed. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so my husband, first grader, <gasps> you have a husband? I do. The whole time you've known me. Oh, I always thought you were feral. Uh. Um, do you mean single? Whatever the word is that you use for stray cats. Oh, <laughs> when I was 12, I babysat this girl for a few years and she would come to me and show me her art, drag me by my wrist and point to the pieces she'd made during the week. And she'd be like, do the voice, do the voice. And I put on a sports announcer Olympic style voice and be like, <gasps> such form, this level of coloring. Why, I haven't seen such perfection in Crayola in a long time. <gasps> and what is this? Why, Jeff, now this is a true risk. It seems she's made a monochrome pink canvas. I have haven't seen this attempted since winter 1932. And I gotta say, Jeff, it's absolutely splendid. And she'd fall back giggling. At the end of every night, she'd check with me. Did you really like it? And I'd say yes, and talk about something I noticed and tuck her in. She was just accepted into three major art schools. She wrote me a letter. Inside was a picture from when she was younger, monochrome pink. Thank you, it said, to somebody who saw the best in me. Small warning to anyone who's arachnophobic. Uh, keep your eyes off the screen for a second. I'll tell you when it's safe. Some species of burrowing spiders keep teeny tiny frogs in their burrows to keep it free of bugs too small for the spider to get that might try to eat the spider's eggs. This means that tiny frogs are spider cats. Even if you hate spiders, you can't hate this. Okay, it, it's safe to look back. We're all good. <laughs> Teachers, the Supreme Court just ruled that you can lead your students in prayer. I hope you are all prepared to uphold and honor that decision. Bring out your prayer rug, your pentagrams, your herbs and tarot cards, your Quran, your Tanakh and Talmud, your ram's horn, your star of David, your Baphomet, your satanic Bible, your altars, your Tibetan prayer wheel, your book of shadows. Why do teenage girls go through a witch slash occult phase? I had tarot cards and a spell book, and I knew a group of girls who messed with Ouija boards and another who had ghost hunting equipment. Oh uh, yeah, Sydney's just going through that girly phase where she tries to raise the dead. Theory, we want power and know our culture doesn't want to give us any. Addendum, witches are one of the few cultural figures of female empowerment that don't derive their power from their relationship to a man. Co-worker, you're 37? You look younger. Me. I let a demon possess me in exchange for eternal youth. Co-worker. <laughs> uh, okay. Demon inside me. You gotta stop saying that. Someone's gonna believe you. Meh. I'm going to the break room for a donut. Ooh, get a maple bar. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. <laughs> that was our dive into r slash witches versus the patriarchy. I absolutely love this subreddit. I love all of the wholesome stories and I love how goofy it gets sometimes. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know. And if you didn't, also let me know, I guess. <laughs> Constructive criticism, welcome. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. Sorry, I have Sunday school that, that one. <gasps> no, oh, I've got homework that day. <laughs> All right, get out of here.